the betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's, uh, it's really, it's uh, in my opinion, one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Welcome to the shortlist part of our show now where Sheldon and myself will guide you through our shortlist selections for racing at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Wednesday the 21st of September. There's eight races on the card and the bike pod will commence in race number one and that's at 12.35. The place accumulator in race number two and the big one, the pick six, race number three. Now having a look at my shortlist, there's two suggested PA bankers and one horse to watch out for. And uh, the first of those PA bankers comes up in race number two on the card where you have horse number two, Johnny's Hope from the Com Naidu yard. Cabello Martignani takes a ride. And I think Johnny's Hope could uh, just be the horse that they all have to beat. I think he's going to go to the head of affairs and uh, look to steal the race from the opposition. And uh, the second of those PA bankers, race number three on the card, number seven, Aerial View. I think uh, just two horses for the pick six, just four and seven. And Aerial View, Serena Mudley rides for Michael Miller. The horse has come down, come back to the mark of 76, where I think she's going to be competitive once again. She's been taking on a stronger company than what she does meet here. And in the smallish field, I don't think she's going to be too far off the action. And Aerial View, I think she could go close to winning in the third race on the card. One horse to watch out for. That's in race number two. Horse number three, Cherokee Trail, 11-2 in the market. There's not much to choose between him and political party on the Wiccan Warrior run. And I think uh, Cherokee Trail, he'll enjoy the step up in trip. Keegan DeMello gets a ride. And from a neat draw of gate number three, I think uh, Cher Cherokee Trail certainly offers the value in the race at 11 to 2 in the market. And uh, those are my, that's my shortlist for racing. Sheldon, over to you for your shortlist. Thanks very much, Rahil. Looking at my shortlist, we'll take a look at those runners. For the Barpot Banker, we are going to go with race two, where we have number five, Political Party. There will also be a Place Accumulator Banker. And in race seven, number five, Hooves of Troy, another runner that I believe will be good enough to be into the top three as far as the PAs go. And in the, my plays of the day, the two horses to watch out for race five, number seven, Slalom Queen, a horse who's come right down in the ratings. A little bit low on confidence as far as the winning goes, but I think Slalom Queen's going to bounce back to her best. And if taking to the conditions on the poly will be a huge runner. And race seven, number five, Hooves of Troy. It's been an eternity since he's come through to win. But off this kind of rating in this type of field, I believe Hooves of Troy at around five to one will definitely be the value bet on the day. On behalf of Rahil and myself, have a top day's racing and we'll catch you at the course. Hi, it's Donovan Everett from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Breeders in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.